A different approach seemed to have been struck in addressing the lingering APAPA gridlock and port operations efficiency. In what CEO's forum, chief executives of various maritime agencies are meeting in this room to think our solutions for the blue economy. Top of the resolution reached after a five-hour closed-door meeting is the quick commencement of a 24-hour port operation. The committee has also mandated Nigeria Inland Waterways to come up with action plan in how to commence delivery of containers from Western Port to Onisha, thereby simplifying the cost of cargo transfer to the east. We have certain consignees that have an average of a thousand containers coming to the port every month. And this consignee is willing and very anxious to have those cargo moved from Lagos to Onitra using badges. So that is what we need to do to solve the issue of um, 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 a proper gridlock. As its contribution to the multi-agency approach, the Nigerian Customs Service is to first track the auctioning of overtime cargo in the port location and in the government warehouse, which are already 90% full, and also expand to other locations because they say the port can be a storage place. For every train trip, 38 trailers or trucks are taken out of the road. If we de deploy um, our badges, it means about 100 trucks are also off the road. So the chaos, uh, the so-called gridlock, you know, is a function of inefficiency and lack of planning. But uh, here we are having synergy. All the three uh, modes of transportation will be deployed effectively. An intermodal evacuation system remains key, but not without discussing safety. So the CEOs have agreed that Nimasa should go ahead to remove wrecks within the Nigerian territorial waters. We already made our own presentation to the uh, Federal Ministry of Transportation. I think by now the approval for that is supposed to be with the uh, Bureau of Public Procurement. After that, they will give us no objection. We will have to go to the Federal Executive Council and then get obtain approval to commence the removal of wrecks. The meeting had in attendance Executive Secretary Nigeria Shippers Council, Managing Director Nigeria Ports Authority, Director General Nigeria Maritime Administration and Safety Agency in the Master, the Managing Director National Inward Waterways Authority, and Rector Maritime Academy of Nigeria, Oran, retired Commodore Duja Efedua. Olu Phillips, Channels Television News.